This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that George and Mildred is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Norman Ashley played the character Jeffrey for a mile in a sitcom when he was 31 in 1976. See, at 78 years old, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Bristol, England. Dick looked like a sardine. Mm. Shall I pack your underpants or are you going native? Eh? You know, just a kilt and a stiff upper lip. Oh, not like that. <laughs> seen the height of the thistles up there. I want you to be... I don't know, it's, it, they want you to have some experience of it, which... When I, I played a, um, a serial killer killing 13 women, I, I don't think... Roy Kinnear played the character Jerry in the sitcom when he was 42 in 1976. Sadly, on September 20th, 1988, he left us due to a heart attack at 54 in Madrid, Spain. We are deeply saddened by his passing. For a big clock. We had four while I did the length of the boat race. Shall we go inside? Shells. It's a sort of uh, tropical island, a bit like the temperate house at Kew Gardens, really. <laughs> so you can't get a bus to go over. <laughs> <laughs> and how long were you there? What was it like? Robert Gillespie played the character Detective Sergeant Burke in the sitcom when he was 44 in 1977. See, at 90 years old, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Little Friends. Stealing. <laughs> Still, it might be worth talking to them. I've never found it so. <laughs> Not your sort, eh, sir? More your council estate. Um, but he was just ahead of me. And so I joined that society and got parts there as a as still a school you know mm. still as a Yutha Joyce played the character Mildred Roper in the sitcom when she was 49 in 1976 sadly on August 24th 1980 she left us due to alcoholism at 53 in Marybone London England we are deeply saddened by her passing after and so do I but you're not an old lady George you're a bit of an old woman but you're not an old lady <laughs> when we see the back of her. Well, don't hold... We're not, obviously, you know, we were weenie-weenie. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, they suddenly thought, oh, no, we'll put them into order. It could... Norman Mitchell played the character Mr. Clayton in the sitcom when he was 58 in 1976. Sadly, on March 19, 2001, he left us due to a stroke at the age of 82 in Downham Market, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Are you a cat? Oh, step this way, sir. Are you sure you wouldn't rather have a ferret, sir? No, I would not rather have a ferret. Just a little. Over here, sir, the last of the little. I come here every Wednesday. Oh, long before that. It's the name that escapes me. Duckworth. Duckworth. Don't go away. Brian Murphy played the character George Roper in the sitcom when he was 44 in 1976. See, at 91 years old, he is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Isle of Wight, England. I don't know. Only wise on a windy day. Oh. <laughs> For heaven's sake, George, stop talking about the television. Act that kept everyone amused. I took the bunks from the air raid shelter and I put them into the living room to create a stage. And I performed. John Lyons played the character Barman in the sitcom when he was 33 in 1976. See, at the age of 80, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in London, UK. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Mm. Hang on. All right, yeah. Uh, this has happened to me once or twice. It's very frustrating. <laughs> Time to talk to him because we were called away. Yeah. But I thought afterwards, not a good idea. Yeah. And quite a few people said, no, it was so... Avril Elgar played the character Ethel in the sitcom when she was 44 in 1976. Sadly, on September 17, 2021, she left us of natural causes at 89 in Bristol, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Uh, Frederick not with you, dear? No, he's not. He's a bit tired. Oh, that's understandable. <laughs> 
Nicholas Bond Owen played the character Tristram in a sitcom when he was 8 years old in 1976. See, at 55 years old, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Surrey, England. He's, um, eat your cereal. What's next, man? <laughs> Robert Racklin played the character Brown in the sitcom when he was 69 in 1978. Sadly, on July 18, 1985, he left us due to cancer at 76 in Wandsworth, London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. I don't think you've met my husband, Geoffrey, Mr. and Mrs. Clifton White. How do you do, sir? Uh, please, Reginald. Reginald. Uh, can I buy you both a drink? Uh, gin and tonics? Right. I don't... Anthony Sharp played the character Headmaster in the sitcom when he was 61 in 1976. Sadly, on July 23rd, 1984, he left us of natural causes at 69 in London, England, UK. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Uh, would you describe them as trustworthy, responsible members of the community? Uh, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> no, thank you. Trustworthy, responsible. Sheila Fern played the character Anne Formile in the sitcom when she was 36 in 1976. See, at 83 years old, she's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Leicester, England. No, you're not, Sonny, you see, because your guard's open. Look, you see? See? You see? Oh, see? I can't Look. stand it! Oh, get that for me, Jeffrey. I've got a pan on. Yeah. Oh, I Reginald Marsh played the character Humphrey in the sitcom when he was 50 years old in 1976. Sadly, on February 9th, 2001, he left us due to illness at 74 in Wright, Isle of Wight, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. It's all Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> yeah, very, uh, very, very fond of dogs, is Ethel. Uh, he's a bitch. <laughs> okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in George and Mildred? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.